The team of physicists in Aachen are celebrating the exciting news that they will be playing a major role in the huge EU-funded project to explore the potential of graphene. Markus Morgenstern is in charge of the scanning tunneling microscope. It can be used to explore the fantastic characteristics that graphene displays at the atomic level. It's a better conductor of electrical current than silicon, and its thermal conductivity is better than that of copper. Graphene is transparent because it's just one atom thick. It absorbs a little light, but basically you can look through it. It's also extremely flexible. That means you can bend it like rubber, but if you try to pull on it, it's like a diamond. So it's very hard and at the same time very flexible. No other material that we know of has this combination of characteristics. In 2010, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded for groundbreaking work on graphene. Graphene is very easy to make, at least in small amounts. Just pull off a thin layer of graphite with sticky tape and repeat the procedure again and again until you're left with a layer just one atom thick two-dimensional graphene. Here the material has been applied to a sheet of plastic foil. It conducts electricity and could be used to make electronic devices. Imagine a laptop that folds into a cell phone. Or a headset. Researchers in the Graphene Flagship Consortium will address questions that are not being studied at other labs around the world. The material could provide a huge potential boost for Europe. The flagship program is about ideas. It's not as if claims have already been staked on all of the potential applications of graphene. The prospects for Europe are good if the research is focused and intensive. The team in Aachen have established that graphene could be used to make much faster and more powerful computer chips. A layer of graphene can transmit 10 times as much data as regular silicon. The hope is that the wondrous new material will revolutionize telecommunications. Graphene chips could send huge volumes of data around the globe at blinding speed. It's fascinating how an idea born of scientific curiosity has already given rise to such an amazing array of possible applications, so many and such different applications. I've never seen anything like it. The EU funds will be available for two years. Then the various member state governments whose researchers are involved will be called upon to contribute to financing the research.